BC's kids. As Education Minister in 2002, she was the architect of unconstitutional legislation. Legislation that has been struck down by the courts. It was her first effort, and this is the second one, to illegally and unethically strip teachers of their rights. And the Liberal government has done that so that they can underfund education. Because it's hard to under, underfund education when you have strong class size limits, which is why we fight for them so hard. By contrast, the leader of the NDP, Adrian Dix, has made a clear and strong commitment to free collective bargaining. Adrian has supported the right of teachers to have a say in class size and composition, and as leader of the NDP, has demonstrated time and again that he respects teachers, that he values teachers, that he believes in the roles we play in schools. It's my great pleasure to introduce to you the Leader of the Opposition, Adrian Dix. At a time when, for the seventh straight year, BC has the highest rate of child poverty in Canada. At a time when BC has the highest absolute levels of inequality in Canada. At a time when government should be working with public school teachers to make sure our public school system, which gives people hope and opportunity in the future, is running as best as possible. At this time, at this time, we have a government that has decided on confrontation. Two weeks ago, the BCTF sought a mediator at the Labour Relations Board. For the last two weeks and today, we could have, they could have been working together with the employer on an agreement. And instead, Instead, what we have in British Columbia, instead what we have in British Columbia is legislation that ends that opportunity, that imposes an agreement on teachers, and that imposes an unfair mediation process on teachers. This is not the time for that. You know, I got an email last night, our uh, outstanding education critic, uh, Robin Austin, gave a two-hour speech, the maximum two-hour speech against Bill 22 on Thursday. And someone wrote me and said, you know, it's exactly what I feared. You are pro-teacher. Carlton Elementary School in my constituency. If you go to Carlton, hey, there's someone there from Carlton Elementary School in my constituency. You will find teachers who come together every year out of their own pockets to buy textbooks for their children. If you go to Windermere Secondary School, community school in my constituency, you will find teachers who work together with the students 60, 70 hours a week, whatever it takes, to provide help to the community. If you go to Prince Rupert or Hazleton or Cranbrook or Kelowna, you'll find exactly the same thing. You betcha I'm pro-teacher. And I know what you know. I know what you know, that teachers are pro-student, pro-child, pro-parent. 
So I say to you, there has never been a time when it was better to have the legislative lawn filled with people who support public education. Yeah. Ten years ago, ten years ago in 2002, a minister of education and the government brought forward a bill. They brought forward a bill that stripped from teachers' contracts protections for children on class size and composition. Yeah. And since then, students have paid the price. A student in grade one then would be in grade 11 now, and they have paid the price for that legislation. Legislation found one year ago to be illegal in the Supreme Court of British Columbia. Yeah. And Bill 22 reinstates exactly those same provisions. It is not a remedy for illegal action to bring back exactly the same thing. And that's why in the days that follow, every single NDP MLA will speak in the debate against this unfair legislation. MLA will speak out in favor of a fair, a real mediation problem process. And I ask you to join us today and in the future to fight for public education because there has never been a time when we need public education, public school teachers, and a commitment to an, a fair and equal society. Never been a time that we needed it more than now. Thank you very much.